Hey guys, it's Saturday, March 28th. Here's today's workout. You're gonna start your warm up with 10 knee pulls per side. Pulling your knee up into your chest. 10 each side. After you get 10 done there, go into quad pulls, reaching back, pulling your heel up into your small back, feeling a stretch in that quad there. 10 each side. Going to 10 air squats, feet shoulder width apart. Sinking down, pushing the knees out, making sure hips are going below the knee crease. 10 reps there. And then you guys are gonna have five inchworm walkouts. Inchworm walkout, nice long straight legs. Walk your hands out. Drop into a push up. Walk your hands back, all right? So you're gonna go through five times there. So that's 10 per side on the high knee pull, 10 per side on the quad release stretch, 10 air squat, five inch worm walkouts with a push up. That's your warm up. For today's first circuit, we're gonna have four movements a single loaded kettlebell deadlift, dumbbell double press, chest to ground, abandoned single arm row, and sit up. Single sided kettlebell deadlift. Make sure we're squeezing our obliques nice and tight. All of our abs are nice and square. We're gonna push our hips back, squeeze them forward, reach down towards the ground as if you were holding two weights. Make sure your core is staying nice and tight. That's gonna help support your back and keep your torso from rotating as you go. Next one, guys, we're gonna grab two dumbbells for a devil press. That means we're dropping down. Chest goes to the ground. We fire our hips forward and we throw those overhead. You're gonna to wanna to keep your stomach really tight. Use your legs as much as you can and be explosive. Eight double press. Next one's gonna be our single arm banded row. You're gonna take whatever band you have on hand, you're gonna wrap it around a pole. You're gonna split your stance, nice tight core, keeping yourself solid. And then you're gonna draw that elbow back towards your hip, squeezing your back muscle back here. We don't need to pull and lean forward. We just need to pull with our back muscle, squeeze that guy back. If you guys do not have a band, grab a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or whatever weight you guys have there, Split your stance and perform that same movement a little bit more bent over with weight going down towards the ground. Lastly, you're gonna be finishing with sit-ups. We're gonna have our legs out nice and long here. We're gonna get our stomach super tight before we move. We're gonna sit up with both hands on our shoulders. Trying to keep our heels down onto the ground. So there's your first circuit, guys. You got the single-sided kettlebell deadlift for eight. You've got the dumbbell double press for eight. You got the banded single arm row or the bent over weighted row for 10 per side. And then you got 20 sit-ups, four rounds. Guys, circuit two is gonna be 20 seconds of working, 10 seconds of rest continuously between two exercises. Our two exercise power jacks and forward alternating lunges. So we're gonna do a set of power jacks for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, do a set of forward alternating lunges, 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. So to give you a feel for what those two look like, guys, power jack, you're gonna be squatting down into a nice deep position with your arms crossed forward. You're gonna be explosive, jump up and land nice and soft. Get as high and as wide as you can. So there's our power jacks, forward alternating lunges. We're gonna have two feet together to start. Drop into a lunge, stand back. Drop into a lunge, step back. Alternating between those two. Just 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Four rounds of those two exercises. All right, circuit number three. Dumbbell loaded reverse lunges, eight per side. Glute bridges for 20. Dumbbell overhead tricep extensions for 12. Finish Superman's lifts with 15. We're gonna go through that four times. We'll walk through each of the movements here. Dumbbell loaded reverse lunges. We're gonna stand tall with two dumbbells or kettlebells at our side. And you're gonna step back into a reverse lunge. We just did some forward lunges. Those are fixated a little bit more on the quad. These reverse lunges, I want you guys to think about hamstrings. The hamstrings stretching out as it lowers you down into that lunge. Get eight aside there. For 20 glute bridges, keeping a tight stomach and trying to turn your tailbone up into your hips, getting a nice tight squeeze of the butt. You should feel in the hamstrings a little bit as well. We got 20 reps there. Dumbbell overhead tricep extension. You're gonna make a diamond position with your hands. Jay-Z, the rock. You're gonna hold that bell in the palm of that diamond shape. You're gonna press overhead with a real tight stomach, nice strong base. You're gonna drop back behind your head and then squeeze up to full extension. Back behind your head, 
Squeeze up to full extension. I'm gonna have 12 of those guys. Last one in the circuit's gonna be Superman's for 15. Lay on your stomach, extend toes and fingers as far away from each other as possible, and squeeze everything in between. What's important on those guys is to keep your, the front of your abs just as tight as you are trying to squeeze the back of your body, right? You should feel these guys staying tight and pushing into the ground as you squeeze everything behind you. Circuit four guys, the finisher as some call it, but 20 alternating dead bugs and 20 alternating fire hydrants for three rounds. So dead bugs, we're gonna be flat on the ground. We're gonna have bent knees, 90 degree angles. Shins are parallel to the ground. From there, you're gonna extend your arms forward. When you extend one leg out, you're gonna extend the opposite arm back. Left leg goes out, right arm comes back. We do not touch the ground with our foot or our hand. We bring both of those back together, and then we reach back out again. Alternating each side. Keeping your core tight and the smaller your back the smaller your back in contact with the ground as you go through those guys. All right, now we're gonna go with alternating fire hydrants. Get down on all fours here, guys. We're gonna be working the side of the glutes here, out on the outside of the hip. You're gonna squeeze this guy up, bring it back down. So we can alternate on these, or we can have you guys just go from that one side. We're gonna be doing 20 dead bugs alternating each side, 15 fire hydrants alternating or staying on the same side, whatever you prefer. Three rounds. That's Saturday the 28th workout, guys.